Hello everybody, West Coast Doug here. Today we're going to show you how to make a seasonal tracking chart using data from the NREL website. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is draw a graph that looks similar to this. Next place your latitude on the center line. Now add 15 degrees to your latitude and place that number on the line just above your latitude line. Now subtract 15 degrees from your latitude and place that number on the line below your latitude. So now that you've got your data sheet all ready to go, go to the website listed below, click on your state, and then click on the city that's closest to you or closest to your latitude. And then get ready to fill in your chart with the highest gains month to month. So now you're ready to fill in your chart. We're going to use my latitude. For 53 so, degrees, it says that in January, February, October, and November, we're going to experience our highest gains. And then at 38 degrees, it says that should be March and September. April, May, and August should fall on 23 degrees. Believe it or not, June and July, if I set my array at zero degrees, I'll be killing it. Just killing it. So that's how you fill it out. So next time we're going to show you how to make this neat dual axis tracker using readily available parts that you probably already have just lying around. So until next time, this is West Coast Doug saying, later from the West Coast.